Yeah. All right, let's continue with the quest. Uh -huh. There are leaves around. Right. Yeah. Here. Uh, wasn't I supposed to go down there? No, let me activate the quest itself. No, oh, there was one close. Uh, this one's underground. Oh, come on, I don't have one nearby. Um. the way out. Ah, here's the way out. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Damn. Where's the exit? I return a lot. Yeah, we're we'll probably better to run from there. Time to go. Time to go. What's that defeat of opponents? Time to go! Did I... Is that from chess? I just... Nearby or something? Ah... Let me see... There's something on the map here... Oh, not it. Uh. So I recovered you. I was a 
fateful offering. Was there any indication that it was strange? Ah, it loses its wing. Okay. Follow the yeah. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Where <laughs> a Titan's chains were broken. supposed to go from the arm again. Swing on the wall, it is pieces. This looks like someone does a little work out of some Oh, there are enemies here now. Let's see. All points. Wind Strider! What's that? A bit of cloud time. It's a poor chest that has your body. Wind Strider! And I I can't press B to show points to the waypoint or whatever. Because of that. Here, now I could press it. But now I can't anymore. Damn, where's that? I'm gonna find another one. Damn. Let me get back there. See if I can find whatever I have to kill. I don't know if it was with that before. I pass close to here. There's only one. Okay, so maybe that's no, okay. this is order. Stars shine for me. 
wind strike. As one with wind and cloud. What? Yes. Time to go. Oh my god. Oh shit. Enemy enemies. Wind Strider! More My guiding stars! Clouds high! The birds call! Wind Strider! A late one. Challenge. Who says there are benefits to a life of one? No, I didn't win. Wait right there. Uh, no, I didn't come here before. I was doing some here, and I guess I got the last one. I have no idea how to make that thing vanish. Uh, I hope I'm, I'm always pressing V. That's why I noticed that I. The thing isn't working properly. But I'm not really sure how much I need that to guide me. I hope not much. Time to go. Yeah, see here I got a bit unsure if I should continue through the tunnel or go down. I follow the wind. Solidify! Another one there. Ah, the one is marked on on the map. I didn't pay attention. Maybe only the ones above ground. Wind strider. I will have order. Stabilize. Falling leaves. Adorn my.
Maybe not there or that. Time to go. says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering. Okay, no. Let's check. Oh. Okay, let's go. I will have to go to the other side to open the center. Time to go. Brings a smile to my face. Time to go. Okay, done here. A fateful offering. 
Am I circling back to the beginning? I feel like I climbed a lot. Time to go. No, maybe it was just well okay. it was just inside the stairs. Time to go. One with nature. What? Time to go. Oh, okay. Solidify. Follow the wind. Almost lost it. Worked? Ooh, we worked! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brings a smile to my face. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the last. Energy. With the genius interest eyes, you see flaring flames and blood blades. You see the freezing moonlight and viscous honey. Through the golden honey, you see the underlying skin. The princess sees the consequences of her innocuous error, her sanity giving way to madness. Her invisible husband is shaken by the tragedy. His greedy heart blinded by ecstasy. All sorrow, all the sorrow, joy, and madness are filled. I finally turn into food for the gym mother to devour. It is curtains for the carnivorous night of honey. Such is the end of the genie's lover. Listen here, genie. If anything happens to him, I'll get you for that. Harm? Oh, come now. Addiction flow. Now that is a more probable risk. Addiction is not okay either. It's unacceptable no matter what. The golden honey, the golden skin, the partial breaks the heart. Yet the kingdom lives on under the surface roof. What are you saying? It was you who murdered them. It was not murder. It was punishment for my lover and for myself. I was believed that he would bring his life, this lane into a bright, bright future, but he proves no different from the other shallow mortal tyrants. I was so furious. No, I was in pain. I was once deeply and madly in love with him, but when I was betrayed like that, only destruction three times greater than the love could quell my sorrow and pain, perhaps. In short, I used the hands and hearts of my own children to complete an impeccable killing. Such is the consequence of betrayal. Let's get moving. <laughs> it's giving me goosebumps. Time to go. To the wind. Clouds high. The birds. Order guide you. Yeah. Let's sweeten the deal. Stars shine for me. Not. Wind strike. Oh, 
Mechanism shall check out the public. Yeah, the path I should do as well was quite shorter than the other ones. But I think there may still be some story afterwards. Right there in the center is the crystal goblet of Alarmar. If we get there, we should be able to find a way to enter the internal oasis. What is it? That anything to say, Genie? Uh, something smells familiar here, but no, it's nothing important. Anyway, let us head over there first. Please be careful, my master. I uh, will protect you from the same storm. Ah, uh, okay. So there's no storm protection, past the larger sense storm lane safely in the platform. Oh, come on, I thought I could just walk there now. It could even be a shortcut from one side to the next. Not the desert. What is this place? Careful, I sense strange power. You, the destroyer of Gurabad, the mother of the despicable. I have returned, sister. Sister? I don't understand. Are you calling me sister? Yes, fairy Jesus, my sister, I have returned. You are here to see our mistress, aren't you? Let me guess, you have brought your new master and his desert slave? This person is starting to tick me off. Well, it sure sounds like she's a little persistent, alright? Seems to run the family. Uh, if that's the case, I'm certainly doesn't want to be a guest at her place. Uh, you cannot pass. Very good, I understand your concerns. I would even be willing to bow in apology, but please, let me see our slumbering mistress, if for but a moment. You are worthy no longer, fallen traitor. There is no place for you now in the Oasis realm. Mm. Leave now, before my patient runs dry. And this mechanical shackles rumble and never show yourselves a king here again. Sister, you shed the form of a genie and constrained yourself to this husk for a thousand of, of years. Is this the survival that you so desire to pursue? So you dispense your kindness to me? Despicable traitor, my shackles have nothing to do with you. Uh, the shackles, they tighten. 
believe like that. My master, if I may so ask, please assist me in freeing my sister from her suffering. Oh no, I don't get it. Uh, still so arrogant and inconstant. Uh, you disappoint me, my sister. Uh, Paimo hasn't even figured out what's going on yet. And we're about to fight already. The birds order guide you. Gather. Not now. Cut cold. Mind to can. My guiding stuff. Wind Strider. Solidify. Here's the gun. So... Stars, shine for me. As one with wind and cloud. Warren, the night is cold. This is order. Gather. Stabilize. Oh damn, I got stuck. Not now. Solidify. Wind strike. My guiding stars. Don't be scared. Gather! Order guide you! Not now! Wind strider! Call! Mind to come in! Clouds high! The birds call! Stabilize! The night is cold. Wind strider. Solidify. One with nature. Here's the good. Not now. Rise. I will have order. Shen. Gather. My guiding stars. Don't be scared. The night is cold. Cold. Night. As one with wind and cloud. Wind strike. This is order. Solidify. Not now. Stars, shine for me. Fallen leaves adorn my night. Just I know Check if we get fighting. I will have order. Should it should be good. Gather. Wind strike. Here's the gun. Stabilize. As one with wind and cloud. Don't be scared. Forest, Not now. Oh, Order guys. Boss. 
Wind Strider. Solidify. Magic Wind Strider. You broke the shell. My spirit can form shall soon vanish with it also. Probably just like some mortal. Why? What kind of desire did you hold? The end tone. It will crumble. Just like me, just like you, who are not whole. I know, my sister. Still, I must go there, where our mistress slumbers. That is where the incest of sick lie. No, nothing there. But the colossus of regret. Farewell, my sister. The German is named Ferigis, uh, or perhaps the genie Ferigis, who indwelled the mechanism, is silenced forever. Virtual. Oh. So, are we just one last step away from reaching the eternal oasis now? What's the matter? Are you unhappy, Jet? You alright? What's wrong? Seems broke by it. I'm alright. I'm in a good mood, actually. It's just... That went through all kinds of setbacks and betrayals in his adventures. And I just realized that I'm on the same unfortunate path as him. Although I now have the tribe to call home, Betrayals and schemes are never far from me. We are the tenants. Are the tenants truly where I belong? Have I really been accepted by them? Chat. Uh, let's not wallow in the sad things, Chat. The past is the past. And anyway, we've beaten all the bad guys now, haven't we? I must write. It's water under the bridge now. It's not the end of the world, even if that isn't where it truly really belong. No. The first one. Yeah, you're right. Let us let us sink into the saints. We have more important things to do. But when that was with me, I could say home's where that is. But now I'm all alone. Stop wallowing in self-pity, Jet. You're better than this. Also, we're here for you. Uh, don't get mad, my boy. But you're right. I need to keep my chin up. Uh, now we're talking, uh, aren't we supposed to head out now? We can go up using this platform, right? Uh, Alright, now enough sentiment time, so let's go. Hang on. Time to go! Hmm, shouldn't be able to walk there. Hmm, this isn't exactly centered. Paradise of Eternal Peace.
Tá sem um agora. Oh, if I want anything that a place like this could exist in the desert. Mm, was the sun already going down when we first came out from the underground? No, this is my mistress paradise. A place frozen at the point where the sky kisses the water. Uh, where ingenuity and devotion commingle. The resultant here and now, then, is named Eternity. Wouldn't this be better suited for Sumeru? Oh, Paimon understood almost none of that, but it's why nothing. It's why nothing moves here, right? Is this why my parents regarded this place as their final destination? Those are not my words. Interpret these however you will, poor child. No, what about that? What's that? Unchanging pasts, memories of the queen of all oases have followed those oases into the unchanging past, turning into tightly shut flower buds. Uh, there may yet be some small guiding power within them. By any touch, but someone has been chosen by the oasis, these buds will guide them to a certain spot. There, one may summon the memories of the past and, from them, change the situation in the present. In the guidance of the goddess of flowers, where this means to find the lost inscription that once marked the tree thrones. Mm. There are leaves around. And I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. That seems more useful to me. No, 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 That's all I'm supposed to shoot first. Uh, what happens if I try to leave this place? Uh, there will probably just be another invisible wall, but... Oh, the trick falls. In heat. Sit. Ah, oh, okay. So I have to press this. Read. What am I reading where? What's wrong? Seek the blossom of eternity and reclaim memories long lost. Notice a letter missing from each inscription written on the tree thrones. Perhaps you can use the clothes and descriptions to rediscover what was lost. Okay. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh. My mistress, she's not here. Instead, here's another fragment of myself. Well, 
things that didn't die here when she got that. Let's charge light burst to a first battle point if you more powerful away, but I'll warn if they quickly something new. Through the genius and traced eyes, you see a palace shaped by bricks of crimson jade bound to a garden, flourishing with a multiplicity of vibrant plants that bask in infinite bird song. The genie are the most intelligent servants of the mysteries of flowers, and to her they are minstrels and cupbearers both. In her garden, adult monks and rage wanderers dance, spurling in step and with the daffodils, supping the lifeblood of the daughters of the vine. Here is a garden like any other, the place where the Lord of Flowers once lived, the place where she now sleeps. The roses blossom like crackling flames, setting the, the lives of nocturnal birds aflame. And though the candles smell gently, they offer the approaching moths, moths only ruin. You see her reach out and behold her skin gleaming with lunar sheen. You gaze upon her mien and witness ineffable beauty. Her appearance is like the totality of her gene. There are wondrous aspects, only mere petals to her complete flower. Her being the quintessence to every last saint in existence, and then you meet her gaze. And face nothingness. You greet the endless void, falling into its embrace, mine a fire with constant terror. As your consciousness clears, you find Jess clutching your hand, her expression clouded with concern. You awake, horrid feeling. You just. Never mind, the important thing is that you are right. What did you see? You look like you just woke from a long and scary dream. I saw the mistress of flower. I guess upon this place, it disappeared long ago. Mr. Flower. She's gone. He lied to us. He lied to us all. What do you mean? It's nothing. Just the cancellation of an ancient pact. I believe I'm finally free. The Lord of the Saints once swore to us that our mistress of flowers slumbered here, destined to awake someday. But how strange. Our mistress has already passed. He deceived me. He deceived my people. I should feel many hatred for him right now, for this desert, for the death of my mistress. My loading should have matched the love and admiration I once held for him. Yet, I find myself empty of want or will to hate. How odd. Maybe this is what it means to be free? You are now neither bound to lovers nor foes. Is that so? Um, spare me the niceties. My master, you remain. And our pact endures yet. Come, let us depart. Jet's waiting for you. You this whole time, no? No what? I see a nice spot just over there. I'm going to head over first. Don't forget to come over in a minute. Uh, if you you can interact between branches, come in little parts, surprise with some of storms. And there one there. Time to go.
Time to go. Time to go. So I probably didn't complete that one over there. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? within that quest. Uh. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? Time to go. Brings a smile to my face. a smile to my face. This place should be it. It mentions the sketches in my mother's journal. How, how does she knew um, how the place looked like. A fine place for restful slumber, no? Yeah. We faced countless dangers in our trek across this desert. Betrayals, plots, unforgivable wrongs, and comprehensible events, all in quick succession too. But here I feel calm, happy. I don't know why, I just do. 
It is because this place is the mistress of flowers final spear of influence. The offerings of the skies protect its serenity here, deep beneath the earth. Thus, does this place pre preserve the less of her essence. And though she is long gone, this place remains as calm as it was at its inception, as if it was never disturbed. Hence, those who arrive in this place will know only peace and joy. For the mistress was once the guardian of maddened monks and lost wanderers. To them, this place was indeed a paradise they could call home. Cheshka quietly sets her mother's notes down and lays the brows X by its side. Now it is as if they were never parted. She moving in here. To my dear Jet, loveliest of daughters, a thousand hugs and kisses to you. May the unchanging moonlight grant you a thousand blessings, and may the blazing sun smile upon you alone. I imagine that you would be a bright, beautiful young lady by the time you read this, huh? Now that I am here this night, imagine your future beauty, my intellect and looks, and your father's stubborn nasty combined. I imagine you wearing the graduation gown of the academia. I imagine you proudly standing at the head of your own household. I see Shebra and myself full of joy at the wonderful life you let you lead, even as we grow old together. Uh, I know what you're thinking, you bad girl. You're thinking that you should read these words out loud so you can embarrass me, huh? Be that as it may, I like you to see those hopes and blessings that I wrote down, and that I imagine a lovely, happy future for us. It does feel kind of strange if you think about it. I mean, this was supposed to be an academic notebook, but it ended up being full of my hopes and dreams for you. It is now, it is how, is this how mothers are, so sentimental. Still, I wish that the day would come when we can all be proud of each other. Though destiny might render our little saint doom a wreck, and though all the lovely expectations that we hold may be lost, I hope that you can look into my eyes and tell me that even with my lack of experience as a mother, ours was not a relationship defined by regrets. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to give you the best family. But I'm glad I could be your mother and Jabrell's wife. Uh, really now, I'm just as I'm writing this, little one, you are making a ruckus in my arms, painting your own face with ink dipped dark hands. Uh, do you mean to become an artist or a wandering desert demon that shall keep your mother's nightmares at bay? Alright, alright, sleep now, my baby gazelle. Allow me to paint the song down that shall send you into peaceful dreams. May you remember it just as you remember me. O oh, stars high above the wasteland, O oh, night nails weary from the day. It's time to take off your crowns of roses, cleanse yourself with wine made from grapes. Sleep, sleep, the eternal oasis welcomes the lonely wanderer. And here the crisp spring flows, and the memories are forever sweet. Sleep, sleep, you, your golden slumber summons thee, wandering scent. Drink not the bitter salt water, for the sorrows of tomorrow have gone away. Sorry, I'm just at a loss for words now. It's like time forgot how to flow and everything stopped. I don't know why, I can't even gasp uh, in astonishment at all that's around me here because all I feel is peace. 
for my parents to slumber here alongside our fallen goddess, though I wish they had never left. I truly wish that they could stay here eternally, never to be forgotten by the passing of time. When we first entered, we disrupted the fragment's power and broke the device that long maintained equilibrium here. This place is destined for ruin, to be swallowed by the sand sooner or later. When the time comes, the fading power that our mistress put forth to ward this oasis in perpetuity will dissipate. This is inevitable. I know that, but at least my parents were reunited before the end, as if they never left each other's each other at all. Maybe there will finally come a day when I return to this place, after I grow weary of adventuring. And after I have left every place in regard to be home behind. At this point at that point, I think I'll just say I'm back. And they lay between my parents to join them for a grand old nap. Jeff, but that day is too far far away. Right now Jabro is probably happily uh, not smiling because his face is always blank. But Pam I'm sure he is happy. Thanks, Paimo. And you too, Ignus. Thanks for walking this path with me and for fulfilling this willful, cherished desire of mine. But I like to have a bit of a long time with my parents. Uh, don't forget to come back to class, alright? Don't worry about me, I'll catch up. Uh, I mean, it isn't my time to settle down here yet, is it? I just want to speak to you, when you're here to be seen. There she sits in silence, enjoying a pleasant time with her parents. Best not to bother her. Uh, she's a good child, my master. With no born to beastly brutality and slide of wit, her survival instincts are a step beyond compare. She perceives who it is who wishes to see her hurt, and upon sensing such intent, she gives her all to retaliate without mercy, regardless of how much intimacy may lie between. Still, she does not know the schemes woven against her. She does not yet know that the home she seeks is a thing most hollow. Master, if you care for her, then protect her well. A mere suggestion on my part, of course. You may take it to be... Uh, I do not know. Perhaps you might consider it the unworthy atonement of one who was once a mother. Uh, uh, oh, there's a teleport. Back here, if I need. Seeing sons, enjoying the pleasant time with her parents. Okay, I think the other things I can get here aren't really important for Jet's quest. But let's complete it. Here's just to see. It should be a bit harder. Like on top of that hill, at least. Time to go.
Okay, you, you put him up here. Brings a smile to my face. Time to go. See a memory. Who says like there this? aren't benefits to a life of wandering? It wasn't a unique model or anything, but I think there would be. I thought there would be a memory of the goddess here. Let's come back. If you don't mind, I'll stay a little while longer. If that's okay with you, I mean. Uh, the tribe is waiting on us. Yeah, just give me some more time. You can go, I'll follow after. After pacing for a while, I decided to leave to the eyes of stillness. Soon, Jet catches up with you. I feel much better now, thanks. Are you sure you're fine? You can rest more if you want. Let's head back. We need to tell my treasure babble about the details of our journey. Alright, if you say so, then let's go. back and intact my church babel uh, we had discovered the secrets of the eternal oasis and opened the path there for the tribe 
I thank you for this opportunity to help me fulfill my parents' dreams, even if they didn't receive the blessing of the tent. Please, child, there's no need. I have always held your hopes close to my heart. To be able to fulfill the desires of the young is my duty as my church. Thank you. Well done, Jet. Now, there is the matter of Azari. Your judgment was accurate. He is undoubtedly a traitor. What the... She never was suspicious about him before. Wait, so you already knew that Azarif would betray you? No, I only suspected him at first, and spent most of the journey watching him. I just didn't expect him to reveal his true intent so soon. Uh, my church never warned me, but I chose to believe him at the time. Here, proof of his co collusion with the Futuri. So, I was kind of worried about coming back here with all the evidence and stuff. Judge after Jagis after Adarfis letter. Please don't be sad, my church Bible. Yes, I long suspected his disloyalty. It is just a shame that I didn't get the chance to end him personally. And I had such high hopes for him too. But now, with the tribe facing increasingly treacherous circumstances, and the loss of two individuals I invested much time and effort in, I must call on you, Jet, to help me in matters both great and small going forward. So... What you're saying is that Jet got a promotion. Yeah, congratulations, Jet. Promotion? Man, that's not a word you hear in the desert very often. We desert dwellers aren't so hierarch he hierarchical. In the end, they who govern more affairs will be the ones to bear greater authority. Jet, the future of the tennis now rests on your shoulders. Don't let the tribe down. Tribe. So you're saying I'm truly one of the times now? Wasn't she one already? Do not be deceived, child. I've always seen you as one of us. Whatever happened before, you are daughter of the tent. And the truth of our consanguinity will always run in your veins. I thank you. It feels like we've forgotten to mention some suspicious things we saw. Do you remember seeing anything suspicious about the abandoned camps in Canyon? So about the traitor's letter. No, the camps. Once you once dispatched other tribes people into the oasis and left them to perish there, then you laid a taboo upon it as a pretext to prevent anyone else from trespassing. Did you not? Yet, you encouraged us to head deeper into the same treacherous territory, mentioning nothing of your actions. Why did you do that? This. Esteemed Lilopar, allow me to offer my deepest apologies for all the inconveniences and misunderstandings you must have experienced. But you're right, we have been exploring the ruins of Gurabad in the Eternal Ways for quite some time. I sent many people from the tribe there in times past. There we learned these few key locations and the general layout of this of the area is all thanks to their efforts. How? Apparently nobody came back alive. Uh, yet, due to the extreme danger of the missions, a vast majority of those brave explorers uh, never returned. And the four efforts from so these expeditions bore scarce fruit. Hence, I put a stop to the forest and marked entry into the place as the book. The traitor, Azarik, once led teams to survey the canyon in the ruins, and so I thought I could trust him to serve as your guide. I did not initially think that he would turn on us. You never spoke of this. Because I knew from the start that you would return to heart. Of all who inherit our legacy, you are the one I trust the most, Jess. Your fearlessness 
your fierceness, your cunning, along with the gentleness and sincerity with which you treat your tribe and friends, they have not gone unnoticed. If my daughter had not been stolen from me by the saints, I like to think that she might have turned out to be like you, unflinching in the face of the all peril, one who even the desert could not smother. So I believe in you and pray uh, for you in silence. I'm sorry for that new, much regard to Babel. Uh, no, the fault is mine for incurring your doubt and mistrust. It is I who should ask for forgiveness instead. My apologies as well, my master. It seems my paranoia has uh, got the best of me. Well, it is good that we all managed to clear the air between us. You are our honored guest, Ignus, and the tenant will always welcome you. Steam Master of the Genie, whatever you may desire, I will do my utmost to fulfill, if you would only ask. Anything you want to put us. Uh, I like to be compensated more, I like something commemorative, just offer a toast on my behalf at Jet's birthday celebration. Yeah, I don't need Mora. I won't be here for the toast, so I'd like something commemorative. I thought he would ask to place posters around. <laughs> well, we're not going for Mora. No, we always get Mora. Unique items are more important. Your friendship with the tenant is indeed worth it a mem of memorization. Please accept our meager gift. I hope you shall keep it close to you, never to be discarded. Alright, don't let us keep you much longer. Again, thank you for your help, O oh, Master of the Genie. May it not be long before you visit us again. After all, we will need your guidance, and little parts also. Uh, so, we'll have more quests here. Oh, and the camera is clipping. And the camera is clipping. I'm gonna wait a little longer. The camera is clipping. Okay, stop moving. What did I get? What's that? Oh. I didn't have one yet, but I can probably get somewhere. I didn't pay attention. Is there a new domain here? Yeah. Hmm. I can probably get more of those somewhere afterwards. I should have gone for the toast. Maybe. Okay. Um... Oh, let me try walking all the way there. Just to see. I thought I would disperse that. Stabilize! Time to go! No, it's just... a wall. Lane. Um, we never fought a Wenage. That's a Wenage. Yeah, Setek. Wenage. Let's go there. They were mentioned it constantly a while back, and now... And then they the, just forgot. There, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Time to go.
Are they fighting each other? No, they don't fight each other. They just waiting for me. Mm, the moon blue cannon was added to the archive. Hey, it's not there anymore. There was a hole above it. Okay, it's here. Time to go. Ah. Uh. Ah, okay. That's more expected. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't have. <laughs> I was just. I don't know, hang on, let me get the pitch. Oh, Hayton probably needs this guy. Uh, use one big bullet to perform swirl reaction and bring the set of granites to its in its floating form down. Okay. Which is a throne like the eternal smile of her mistress. Ah, those were the real Patsaros from the past. Oh, shouldn't we bring Neil in here sometime? Um, Sandra Paradise, this is the the gun star. Okay. Anything else here? Completed that. And uh, I did that. Okay. Wherever in this world I. Uh, oh, one more wish to that. And. No. Okay. I'm good. Let me see. I uh, carry this. memories of my. Yeah, I'll probably do that before that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Monday. I don't know. Uh, I'm not done. 